Hey there pretty people and welcome back to the channel. I just kind of wanted to uh, film a little kind of vlog for you guys today just to kind of update you, uh, let you know what I have planned in store for the channel. Um, first things first, I wanted to apologize about not staying in frame. As you know, I'm back from hiatus and I have a new tutorial up that I filmed last week. Something that I noticed in that video when I finally got the chance to edit it was that I sucked at being in frame and I feel really bad about not being able to stay in frame but I'm kind of, you know, my hands are kind of tied with the camera that I have to film with. Right now I just kind of film with a basic point and shoot camera. I don't have a camcorder. When I decided to start YouTube, my first idea was to get a camera that was going to allow me to film as well as take pictures of my makeup. So take product photos and make videos. Um, so going with the cheapest option but still with a nice quality camera, I picked my Canon that I currently use. But the downside is my camera doesn't have a viewfinder. Um, I figured I could probably work around it, but unfortunately my camera is one of like the most basic, basic cameras where I can't plug it into my computer and like see the screen that way. I can't plug it into a TV or see the screen that way either. And so I'm kind of left with setting up a mirror behind my camera when I film. So when I'm filming, I'm kind of, I always check to see that I'm basically in frame. Like right now I'm in frame, but when I zoom in, I I find it harder to stay in frame because I have really poor eyesight. I have, you know, as I'm wearing my glasses right now, and usually when I'm filming, I'm wearing my contact lenses, and I don't wear, I don't like to wear my contact lenses all the time, mostly because it, uh, contacts, having stuff like in your eyeballs kind of makes you a little bonkers after a while. Um, so I put my contacts in to film. And even, even then, I still have to get really close to my mirror. So I usually film with this mirror here, and I have to get like super, super, like almost two to three inches away from my mirror when I'm filming. So that's the mirror that sits in front of the camera, and my bigger mirror sits behind the camera. So I'm kind of like glancing at that mirror, glancing at this mirror, and like trying to check back and forth while I'm doing my makeup. But what I've noticed is that after a while, I'll be like, oh, okay, yeah, like, I'm doing good, I can do my makeup, and then I start getting closer and closer and closer and closer to the mirror, and eventually, I'm out of frame. So, <laughs> again, I wanted to apologize to you guys for being out of frame. I am absolutely, I'm trying, I'm trying my hardest, and I'm just trying, like, now I'm at this point where I'm like, do I get a new camera? something that's going to just film that I can see, something I can hook up to a TV and maybe even do my makeup looking at the TV. I'm not sure yet. The next thing I wanted to talk to you guys is about what I include in my tutorials. As you know, my tutorials are very eye-centric, sort of very focused in on the eyes. Um, and then I, you know, when the tutorial's done, I kind of pull away and show you guys the finished look. And I was wondering if in some of those tutorials, would you guys be interested in seeing how I do my lipstick and foundation and contouring? Or is that something you guys are okay with me leaving out? Um, I figured there's a, a bunch of different videos out there already and there's really only so many ways that somebody can put on their foundation and put on their lipstick that it was kind of, you know, um, not important to include. But at the same time, everybody applies their makeup differently so if you guys are interested in seeing how I apply my foundation and all the extra stuff um, I am more than happy to create a extra tutorial or include that in the tutorials that I already make um, I've definitely been thinking about making a foundation tutorial or like how I wear my foundation because I do have really dark acne scars from my dermatillomania and just breaking out I'm one of those people that unfortunately just get acne all the time. My foundation is usually really heavy because I'm hiding and covering and color correcting all of, you know, the dark spots on my skin. So if that is something you guys would be interested in seeing, I am more than happy to create that tutorial 
for you guys to see and like I said if you guys would like to see how I do my contour and blush and lipstick in other tutorials that I do uh, go ahead and let me know in the comments below um, like I said it's no problem it's just you know turning on the camera and that it'll be a lot easier to stay in frame for those ones so you know just let me know what you guys like to see the next thing I wanted to talk to you guys about is that I will not be here next week um, I know I've kind of come off hiatus and then it's gonna suck to kind of be gone again but my mom and my brother are gonna be here for my birthday I have a birthday next week it's on October 13th so I'm gonna spend time with them and not have to worry about editing and filming and all that stuff um my goal is to have something prepared for next week but with my illness I can't guarantee that I will have a video ready to go unfortunately another thing I wanted to touch on before I go is like the goal for the channel um YouTube and creating tutorials is something that I absolutely have wanted to do for a long time now I'm still really new to YouTube as being a youtuber like somebody who puts out content and makes videos um, I'm still like I appreciate all of your guys's like positive feedback because being somebody new at YouTube and kind of like having to figure it out all on your own is definitely it can definitely be a struggle especially when you have an illness that kind of affects the way that you process information and the way that your cognitive abilities are affected um i just wanted to say thank you guys for always being really awesome and really positive um i'm still kind of you know i'm still learning how to make videos i'm still learning like the ins and outs of editing sometimes it's good sometimes it's bad um the ins and outs of creating tutorials like what to include what to say even getting comfortable in front of the camera like I've probably tried to speak this trying to talk like 10 different times already because it's still like I'm still kind of like in that early stages of like getting used to talking to a camera and getting used to like just getting used to the whole YouTube gig you know trying to you know get the feel for it and get get into a groove and kind of work out a schedule to make videos and put out content and then do reviews and stuff like that so you know just kind of you know trying to go with the flow trying to feel it out I'm still learning um, and again I appreciate your guys's kindness and positivity in me learning Kaylee is still learning too um, she's working on putting out content herself so <clears throat> again we both really appreciate you guys just being awesome and being so positive and appreciating that like two sick girls who absolutely love makeup want to share that love of makeup with you guys. So <sighs> without rambling anymore and talking with my hands any longer, I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video. I hope you guys have a great week and I will see you Thursday with a brand new tutorial. And until then guys, I'll see ya. Bye.